Hey there, Jeff here, and today I want to talk to you uh, real quick um, about the palmistry reading lines and how you can evaluate um, the four different lines. So in case you didn't know, palm reading is also known as chiromancy or palmistry, and it's a wonderful but very complicated task. <clears throat> so the objective of palmistry is to evaluate the life history of somebody, okay? So you can judge the future or character of the person whose palm you are actually reading. So here are the best and great tips for evaluating the palm of any person, okay? So first off, let's talk about the selection of the hand. The first step should be the selection um, of the right kind of hand. If you want to read the palm of any female, you should choose the right hand to evaluate the fate and the left hand to evaluate what she has accumulated in her entire life. <clears throat> if you want to read um, the palm of a male, you should do it the opposite way, okay? So there are four major lines um, to identify in the first steps of palm reading. They're the headline, the heart line, the life line, and the fate line. Uh, and just a heads up, you'll only see the fate line in just a few hands, okay? But the heart line this is the line that goes straight from the index finger to the pinky finger. This line is very helpful for indicating the cardiac health, emotional attachment with someone, and romantic stability uh, in your life. If the heart line starts below the forefinger, it shows the contentment with love life. So if you see the line starting below your middle finger, it shows um, the selfishness from your side in love. So if the line is short and straight, you have less interest in love. The long line shows your expressiveness and love as well. Now, the headline um, occurs below the heart line and shows the thirst for learning into your um, intellectualism. So if the line is short, it's going to show um, your preference of physical achievements over brain. So the curved headline shows your ability um, of creativity. Um, also, during palm reading, if you see the headlines separated from the line of life, it will show enthusiasm and uh, an adventurous nature. If you see the cross um, or threads in the headline, it shows the emotional disturbance, and the broken line shows inconsistency in the thoughts. Now, the third line is a lifeline. The lifeline starts near the thumb and moves on in the form of an arc to the wrist. You can judge the physical health uh, major changes in your life and physical injuries and other events occurring in the life by examining this line. If the line is deep and really long, it shows vitality, and a curvy lifeline shows that you have a lot of energy. If it is like very close to your thumb without making a deep curve, it shows your tiredness. So if the lifeline in your hand is forming a semicircle, it will show that you have plenty of enthusiasm and strength. If you have more than one lifeline, you possess actually. Um, excess vitality okay so the circles in the lifeline show your injuries and hospitalization period and if it breaks somewhere it shows that you suddenly changed um, your lifestyle okay so the last line here is the fate line it's kind of also known as the destiny line it divides the palm basically into two parts it can be seen if your fingers are upward and the palm is downward it is not present in all of the hands if the line is deep, it will show the strong role of destiny in your life, okay? So in some hands, the line of destiny joins a lifeline from the start. It shows that the person is basically self-made. If it joins in the middle of the lifeline in your hand, it shows that uh, you have sacrificed your interests and desires for others. So now that we've identified um, some of the palmistry reading lines and what you can look for, if you're looking how to actually start reading palms, whether it's your own palms or you want to start reading other palms um, to make extra money or just to do it for fun, I've assembled a link below this video for you in the description that will give you uh, more information on a couple different kind of palm reading courses, um, also some extra literature on that for you to check out. So thanks for watching. Have a great day and just go ahead and click that link below the video.